What's up, you guys? Sean Ross at Fightful.com here on the SRS Wrestling YouTube channel. We're still working on getting ours back, but in the meantime, leave a thumbs up, subscribe. We have night two Wrestle Kingdom results for you here in quick fashion. We will be live at 2 p.m. on Sunday, January 5th. That's Eastern Time with myself and Jeremy Lambert giving you a full rundown of night one and two. We're going to go ahead and give you the results. The never open weight six man tag team championship gauntlet match. LIJ's combo of Bushi, Evil, and Shingo Takage uh, would emerge victorious, winning the titles from the former champions, uh, Taguchi Toriano and Togi Makabe. This ended a seven match winning streak for Toriano at Wrestle Kingdom. There's also a chaos combination of Robbie Eagles, Yoshihashi, and Tomohiro Ishii. Suzuki Goons, Taichi, El Desperado, and Kanemaru, and then Bullet Clubs, Bad Luck Fale, Yujiro Takahashi, and Chase Owens that were in that as well. Jushin Thunder Liger's retirement match, his official retirement match, ended with Hiromu Takahashi pinning him. Hiromu Takahashi and his rival Ryu Lee, the former Dragon Lee, would uh, defeat Jushin Thunder Liger and Naoki Sano in this retirement match. Afterwards, Takahashi said that he would carry on the division. Uh, IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Match, Rapongi 3K defeated the Bullet Club combo of Taiji Ishimori and El Phantasmo to win the titles. <clears throat> Zack Sabre Jr. retained the RPW British Heavyweight Championship over Sonata. John Moxley, after winning the IWGP United States Championship in night one, would successfully defend it against tag team champion Juice Robinson on night two, keeping that title. Never open weight championship Hiroki Goto defeated Kenta to win the championship. Shortly following this, they had the runner up match with Switchblade Jay White, who uh, lost the Intercontinental title match in night one, defeating Kota Ibushi who lost the IWGP Heavyweight Championship match in night one. Chris Jericho would defeat Hiroshi Tanahashi with the stipulation of this match being that if Hiroshi Tanahashi emerged victorious and won this match, he would get an opportunity at the AEW World Championship. However, that will not be occurring. Uh, head over to FightfulSelect.com. I spoke to a couple people backstay or that that work for AEW that gave their thoughts and feelings on a potential AEW New Japan partnership. <clears throat> then the double gold dash, Intercontinental Champion Tetsuya Naito defeated the IWGP World Heavyweight Champion Kazuchika Okada to win both titles. He becomes the first ever dual holder of the Heavyweight Championship and the Intercontinental Championship. He would then be attacked by Kenta right after the match. Kenta had some major heat here. So uh, no happy ending for Tetsuya Naito. We'll also have results of uh, New Japan uh, New Year Dash and live coverage of it. We'll give you a bit of a recap likely over on FightfulSelect.com uh, for that one. But remember, 2 p.m. Eastern, Sunday afternoon. Myself, Jeremy Lambert, bring you the Fightful podcast wrapping up night one and two of New Japan Wrestle Kingdom. Till next time, we're out.